In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a shotgun fruit and chamber, which is probably the best fruit and chamber if you're going to be growing gourmet mushrooms at home. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to go through some of the details about how a shotgun fruit and chamber works. Here's what you're going to need. A drill, a quarter inch drill bit. This is a wooden drill bit. A permanent marker. Don't start off with a pink pen like I have here. A block of wood and a tape measure. So, first thing you're going to do, mark out holes on every side of the box, including the bottom and the lid. The holes should be two inches apart in a grid pattern, as you can see here. Next, you want to drill the holes in the box. So my drill bit was struggling a little bit, so I put a bit of wood on the opposite side to speed this up and prevent cracking of the box. So clean up the plastic around the edges of the holes. You can use a scalpel blade or a knife. My favorite thing to do is just to run a vacuum cleaner over all the holes really fast. That'll take the edges off quite quickly and cleanly. That's the hard bit over with and the fruiting chamber is pretty much complete. Next, we just have to add the perlite. You're going to need about three to four inches of perlite in the bottom of your box. You want to use large perlite pieces and make sure that you sift out any fine dust because the fine dust can clog up the holes and it kind of ruins the system. You need spaces and air pockets between the perlite to ensure that fresh air can move through the perlite for the fruit and chamber to work correctly. You want to load the fruit and chamber up with as much perlite as possible. The more perlite you put in the fruit and chamber, the longer it will hold high humidity for. So if you want this to be maintenance free, put about 3 to 4 inches of perlite in the box. Soak the perlite thoroughly. To do this, I get a second tote, fill it up with water and then dunk the shotgun fruit and chamber and the perlite in the water a couple of times and then lift it out and then leave it to drain for like 10-15 minutes. So setting up the fruit and chamber, firstly it's important to find the right location so you don't want to put it somewhere like a kitchen where there's a lot of temperature fluctuations, put it in a back room somewhere where the heating isn't on with relatively stable temperatures. It's important to elevate the shotgun fruit and chamber because you're going to need airflow to come through the bottom of it so make sure you stand it on legs like I am doing here. For humidity make sure you put a hygrometer in there because realistically Realistically, you can't just look at a shotgun fruit and chamber and say, oh yeah, that's 99% humidity because it all depends on your location, how hot it is, things like that. So if you've got a hygrometer in there, you can see when the humidity starts to drop down. Normally, this can take a few weeks. So these can hold, as long as you've got plenty of perlite in there, these can hold high humidity for a good couple of weeks. Right, now I'm just going to do a quick overview of how the shotgun fruit and chamber works because it's actually a pretty clever design and the people who designed this knew what they were doing. So, when you put the fruiting block on the perlite, the fruiting block generates heat which then heats up the air inside the fruiting chamber. Hot air rises and leaves through the top holes because it creates negative pressure it then pulls fresh air through the bottom holes and the sides and the air coming through the bottom holes then moves through the wet perlite and becomes moisturized and then creates a high humidity environment right beside where the fruit and blocks are sitting. For gourmet mushrooms, it's definitely a better build than a mono tub. You will be able to grow plenty of gourmet mushrooms in this. You'll get lion's mane, shiitake, Freckled chestnut, Piopino. The only mushrooms that'll struggle in a shotgun fruit and chamber are oyster mushrooms because they need lit like really high levels of fresh air to the point where they need to be outside basically. And what's crazy is you see at the moment people are starting to design these like tabletop mushroom fruit and chamber design things which cost about 300, 600 pound. This shotgun fruit and chamber does it all. So if you build one of these, you're saving yourself a huge amount of money and they are very effective. 
I'm going to create a few videos in the future demonstrating how good these are for fruit and gourmet mushrooms. If you're interested in that, then like and subscribe. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this straightforward tutorial on making a shotgun fruit and chamber.